Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is part two of my loungewear haul. You may have seen part one of my loungewear haul which covered supermarkets Asda and Sainsbury's and today I'm going to talk to you about my loungewear haul from High Street Retailers, Marks and Spencers and New Look. Now I have a bit of a confession to make. I actually filmed this video straight after I filmed part one or so I thought I had. It turns out it hadn't actually recorded so this is going to be a little bit different to part one in the fact that since I actually filmed part one, I've actually now washed everything and actually started to wear everything. So whereas in um, part one, I hadn't actually washed anything yet. So everything was creased and I didn't know what everything was gonna wash and wear like. So this is just gonna be slightly different. Um, and then what I'll do is tell you all about what I've bought, how much I paid for them and then I'll insert some clips um, to show you what they're like. Um, like I said in part one, a little bit nervous about trying on. Um, you could probably tell that I'm plus size would be in the curved section. So a little bit nervous about that. So I don't want this to be triggering to anyone for myself. Um, my weight does fluctuate so it is kind of what it is really so yeah um okay um enough of this rambling shall we get on with the haul first up i'll show you the items that i've bought from new look the first thing i bought was a black hoodie um it's all nicely folded up um now it's got this lovely slogan think happy be happy it's really really thick material and um i think actually it's probably a little bit too thick to wear in the summer but i think it's going to be really really nice for in the winter so i'm actually probably going to save this until the winter now um it's got lovely little uh, pouch pocket there you should just be able to pick that up on the camera there and it's quite a good length and it fitted really well um now i've actually removed all the labels now of course so it's going to be a bit difficult to guess the prices but what i'll do when i edit this i will find out what the actual prices that i paid were and i'll do um, a little insert for you now with this um with the new look sizes, they couple sizes together into like small, medium, large, extra large. So with a lot of the new look items, it was a bit potluck with what I ordered. The size I went for is actually fine as it turns out because it actually does fit quite well and it's really, really nice and cosy and I can't wait to wear this actually in the winter. So the next item that I purchased from new look were some basic black joggers. Um, like the hoodie that I bought, they actually are quite thick, so I think I'm going to actually save them till winter. I think they're just going to be too hot um, while the weather's quite warm at the moment. Um, but ba just a basic black jogger. I think they actually called it slim fit, but they fit really well. They've got pockets on the side here, and they've got the cuff at the bottom. Again, with the sizing, it was a bit potluck, but the size I ordered was okay. Um, and they've washed quite well as well, and they've not shrunk at all. I think price-wise, I'm gonna say $7.99, $8.99, but again, I'll confirm that price for you when I edit this footage together. And yeah, they're quite nice and comfy, and I think they'll be really cozy in the winter. <music> So the next item that I ordered from New Look was a set, um, it's a joggers and hoodie set, 
So this is the hoodie. Um, just it's an over the head one. Um, it's got it's like a rib fabric um, material. I don't know. Might show up on the camera actually. Um, it's got the drawstring round the neckline. Then these are the joggers again with the matching rib material and they're just like a pull on design there's no pockets or anything on them size wise i was a little bit nervous with these because i thought oh god when i got them i didn't know whether they were going to fit but they actually fit okay the only thing i would say is the fabric is quite thin so yes they'd be great to wear in this weather but i don't think i'd actually wear them out and about um just purely just a little bit too see-through for me and also i don't think i'd actually wear the set together i think i'd actually wear them as separate pieces now the price for these i think it actually was 22 pounds 99 for the set so i think it's a really good price um for the set actually and yeah we'll see how we get on wearing those they felt quite comfy when i tried them on so we'll see how we get on with those so the next items that I got from New Look um, were just some basic t-shirts from the Curves range, which is their plus size range, basically literally two basic round neck t-shirts in a grey marl and a blue colour. Um, they've washed quite well. The only thing I would say is when I did try them on, the neckline did droop forwards a little bit, which I'm not actually keen on. I much prefer, like very similar to actually the way this t-shirt has actually is drooping forwards. I much prefer it properly fixed in place, um, but they're okay. Now with the sizing, they actually did the single dress sizes. So I actually was able to buy my normal t-shirt size and like I say, it fitted fine, just my only gripe was the, the neckline falling forwards, but for loungewear, wearing around the house, that's fine. And I think normally they are, I think, £8.99 each, but when I ordered them, they were 2 for 12 which is fine. Paying £6 for these t-shirts is fine. I don't think I would have actually paid full price for them. They are quite thin fabric so i don't know how long they're gonna last for and they might be too cold for in the winter i don't know so we'll see how we go but i think certainly in summer months they're fine and two really really good colors in the gray and the blue so they were the final items that i purchased from new look so next up i will show you the items that i purchased from Marks and Spencers. So the first items that I ordered from Marks and Spencers were three t-shirts, because you can never have too many t-shirts, is what I say. Um, last year, I actually bought a t-shirt from Marks and Spencers in this particular fit, and it was really, really good. They have different styles and different fits, and the one that I went for was called The Straight. So. It's still quite loose fitting, but it's still got a little bit of a ladies type fit to it. And the one that I bought last year has worn and washed really, really well. And it was in a lovely colour, so I've actually worn it quite a lot. So I was quite glad to see that they've still got that particular range. And at the time of ordering, they were three for two as well. I think normally they're six pounds, seven pounds each. And on three for two, that's a really good price. And they're really really good quality and like I said they, they wash really really well so I've got of course a basic black colour then a basic navy colour there and then a colour that's unusual for me in pink this is it's like a pink marl type colour so it's not actually overly too bad because i'm not a big fan of anything pink really but this is actually quite a nice subtle pink and i quite liked it and um, they are so comfy on and say they wash quite well and they don't need much ironing either 
to be honest, um, based on experience. So again, that was another reason why I actually went for these. Being Marks and Spencers, they're just really good quality as usual. And I ordered my normal t-shirt size as well. And they, they, were, they were fine. I don't think they've, sometimes with Marks and Spencers, they, they alter the, the, the sizing a little bit between years, between seasons, but they don't seem to have done with this particular product, which is good on Marks and Spencers for consistency. So next up from Marks and Spencers was a couple of pairs of basic joggers. I got typically a black pair and typically navy pair. Now these are very similar to the pairs that I actually got from Asda and Sainsbury's. They're quite lightweight. They've not got um, a cuff at the bottom. They're just quite basic. They um, pull on style. Now with these sizing, I sized up um, with these, like a lot of things I've sized up with, just to allow a little bit extra room to breathe. Um, and they fitted quite well. I haven't tried them on yet since washing them, but certainly prior to washing, there was plenty of room. And I think with these joggers, you could get the different leg lengths, so short, regular, long, I think, uh, which I think is a good idea as well, really useful thing to do with Marks and Spencers. Um, I think they were, I want to say £12.50 each, so I think, again, if I'm wrong, I will put a little note on when I um, edit this footage. Um, but yeah, to say they really felt really comfy when I tried them on, so we'll see how we get on with them. And I think they will be fine during the summer, but also will be totally fine in the winter as well. Next up from Marks and Spencers, we have a couple of crop tops. Now, last year I actually bought these crop tops to go under some cruise outfits because it was a v-neck neckline, which I don't really, really like, as I've probably said before, I don't like showing my chest off. So when I found these crop tops, I thought, oh, brilliant, because they just bring the neckline up and they were really, really comfy. Didn't need to wear a bra underneath because they were supportive enough. So again, when I was looking for the loungewear, yeah, I bought some from Sainsbury's, but I saw that Marks and Spencer's were doing the crop tops as well. So I thought I'd get a couple more pairs. Um, and what I ended up doing with these though was I sized up because they didn't have the size that I ordered last year in stock in the colourway but I've tried them on and they're not overly massive so um, I just got a grey pair, grey set, grey pair, grey pair, grey set <laughs> and then it was it's just like a pinky sort of colour um, I think if I want to, I want to say £14 for the two, I think. So I think that's actually a really, really good price for these from Marks and Spencer. Say that, you know, they're super comfy. They've washed really well. They're, say, really comfy and a really, really good price as well, especially for Marks and Spencer's. Now to the final item I purchased from Marks and Spencer's and the final item in this loungewear haul is a pair of slippers. I bought these because normally in the summer I wear flip-flops because I can't wear full clothes in slippers or socks in the summer. My feet just get too hot. But the pair of um, flip-flops that I've been wearing are last year's pair from Primark and they really have seen the best. The, the, they're absolutely nasty, um, falling apart. Plus, also, I find that I actually get a build-up of static electricity, so I do get a little shock if I'm touching, like, the microwave or the cooker or something. So I saw these, and I thought I'd give these a go with them being open-toe, open up, open at the sides. I thought they hopefully would still... Something to put on my feet, but also keep my feet cool. I think I paid £7.50 for them, and it was just my normal shoe size which is a size six tried them on and they're, they're very very spongy at the moment but i think that will obviously wear down with a little bit of wear and they've just got embroidered navy um stars 
on them as well and it's got a really good rubber sole on the bottom as well which i think then would make me feel confident if I, you know if i was wearing these and i wanted to just pop out onto the patio or out onto the the front driveway or something they'd be fine and it wouldn't then be wrecking the the fabric and yeah they were super super comfy when i tried them on so yeah i thought i'd give them a little go so that's everything that I wanted to show you today in part two of this loungewear haul which featured items that I bought from New Look and Marks and Spencers. Please do check out part one which covered items that I purchased from supermarkets Georgia Asda and TU at Sainsbury's and something I should have probably mentioned at the top of this video is that everything that you've seen today is purchased with my own money it wasn't sponsored or anything these companies don't know that i've done this post um it's just something i wanted to do um to show you guys what i got um i hope you liked the video and please do check out part one as well and also do please check out the accompanying blog post that I've also done which is on my website cupperandcake.com I'll link down below or I'll pop a link in the corner um, I hope you liked this video please do like and subscribe and hit that bell button and then you will be notified of more videos as and when I post them I've got a few ideas of some coming up and hopefully we'll get some footage uh, filmed and some more content up on my channel for you thank you very much for joining me today bye bye for now mm -hmm.